Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. In the last video, we beat Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So now, this. Welcome Switch, I am the essence of the Triforce. Dot dot dot. Or Amberstand or whatever they're called. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. That's not very good. Like, somebody should have safeguarded that. And just made it go one way. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce is expression of that wish. And by what scale do we judge whether or not a wish is strong? Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the golden land to the dark world. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the light world and make his wish come completely true. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. That Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. Da, 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 da. All right. Link is holding the Triforce above his head and stuff is happening. All right, so now we'll see the result of Link's wish. The return of the king. Okay, I don't know if I talked about this, but they never deal with the fact that, like, what if the king is an evil king? I mean, like, how is his ruling going? And what about Zelda? Is she going to be a good princess? Because if she's not, you know, and Ganon, does he, like, you know, did he just do all bad stuff or... You know, like, what if he's building schools? Maybe he's better than the king. So everybody who died is back to life. Sahaja Razor is Raz. Homecoming. Kakariko Town. Or Kakari. Yeah, Kakariko. The vultures rule the desert in the Deller Pet. I hated the vultures. They were horrible. Also, I'm not quite sure of that area behind the desert palace. Oh, that's just the second part. And, uh, these guys, the guy who was the ball, like, and the guy who was, you know, the monster, they're, you know, in the... And our uncle recovers from death. He didn't recover. He was, like, he didn't have the flu. Like, he died, and now he's back to life. At Zora's Waterfall, nothing has changed. He's still gouging the price of for flippers. So, I mean, some of this, you know, obviously, I got a happy ending for the witch doing exactly what the witch was doing during the actual gameplay. There were, when I was watching this earlier, there were some surprises for me. This was one of them. Because I was like, oh, I completely forgot about him. Wow, it's, that's nice. And that's the old man we're supposed to give the flute to who tells us to go play it. And the Dwarven Swordsmith, we like, we, we fixed their stuff. Aw, thank you for the bow. There was a bug-catching kid in Kakariko Town? Why didn't we have to deal with him? Oh, we took his bug-catching net, right, he was sick. And now he's not.
And he turns into a dragon. Oh, no. There's, yeah, the lost old man is the actual end boss. The forest thief. Now, if that bird pecked his eyes out, this might be a happy ending. And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. Because we'll never need it again in another Zelda game. Ever, ever, ever. Asterisk. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> here is the Trivors. I believe this is the actual end screen. Oh yeah, they, these are credits. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, there are all these questions that are never answered about, like, Zelda and the king. And it's like, you know, is the king a good guy? What if the king's not? What if the king does, like, Stalin-esque purges and people disappear in the middle of the night never to return? Like, maybe, you know, maybe we want to take our chance with Ganon. You know, monarchy is a good form of, of government tempered with some sort of constitutional, you know... Uh, a representative system, or uh, uh, if the leader is, you know, uh, is attempting to be good and just, but like, you know, despots are despots, and and uh, monarchical, monarchical ones uh, can be especially vicious. So I'm just saying. I mean, I know that it's uh, first off. I know it's the fairy tale convention for there to be a king and a princess, and Whatever, and I know that there's a lot of uh, of that in video games. It's kind of a video game standard, but they never. I mean, it's never answered. It's never said like, well, my, you know, I, well, rarely is it said, you know, the king is a good and just king, and that's why. Um, not to mention, you know, Zelda is someday going to inherit the throne, so like, we need to know some stuff about her that she's not some sort of Lady Bathory type of, you know. Bathe in the blood of virgins, crazy murderer. Again, I'm, I guess we're supposed to assume. Like, her and Princess Peach are going to be great rulers and stuff. Like, Although I certainly would worry about, you know, kingdom safety if Princess Peach was in charge. Can't even... Can't, one guy. One guy kidnapping her over and over. Actually, I could say thing with Zelda. Zelda gets herself in trouble with the same guy over and over and over. Poor Link. Anyway. Enough of my rant about monarchies and video games. But yeah, it's just been on my mind lately. Like, ever since I started this game. Where I was just like, oh, okay. Like. I suppose from the point of view of, uh, like, a, a country that has... That has a, 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 a representative government. Say a Republican government. How about that? It's a weird to like imagine kind of unquestioned loyalty to you know a, a, a hereditary ruler. Uh, most countries have a past that involves at least some of that, and actually, so does my so does America. The United States of America has oh quest history. Um, the United States of America at one point was, you know, a, a subject of the British crown, so. So this is deaths, I take it? We died three times in the Swamp Palace, one time in Thieves Town, one time in the Ice Palace. Never in Misery Mire, and never, once at Turtle Rock. Once at Ganon's Tower, all, all those falls should count. And actually, we, we died like three times at Ganon's Tower, I just kept. Yeah, okay, total games played. 11. Now, this is where it'll stop, and then it'll, it marks your save file with this number. I don't know why. So, uh, let's see. It'll just say the end, and then... See, I can't... I'm pushing a bunch of buttons, and nothing's happening. And nothing will happen. So, we have to reset. But it will save. I, I believe it did save.
Alright, and we'll... Oh. Okay, we are at the Tower of Power. Or whatever, it's the Golden Tower. But we don't want to be here, so... There's actually uh, one... One little thing I want to take care of here. Kind of-ish. Aside from killing these jerks. I want to try something in the light world. No. There we go. Now where's my duck? Okay, I believe... And if we can find the woman sweeping, if she's still around, is there anybody still around? Maybe not. Yeah, everybody's indoors. Except for this guy. All right, well, uh, until next time, everybody. Oh, what I was going to do is, I think if you, the woman who's sweeping, if you throw magic powder on her, something funny happens. Uh, let's see if we can find her in her house, though. She has to have a house. I think this is her house. Nobody? There's nobody here? Nobody at all? Tra-la-la? -la -la. Well, maybe, maybe it's this. No, that's a little bug catching kid. Oh, interesting. So that's the story of the guy with the flute. All right, and that's the like that's the bar. Oh, you know something we should try though. No? Huh? I would have made that do something if I were a game programmer. But maybe that's why I'm not a game programmer. Anyway. Yeah, everybody's gone. All right. Uh, bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich. Okay, uh, this is the secret room that was put in, or this is how to get to the secret room that was put in uh, for a Nintendo Power winner um, while this game was in development, apparently. Um, contrary to popular belief, it's not based on the amount of time you spend getting to the room or whether or not you're hit by enemies. It actually is based on the screen transition in this screen. If you use this method, you've got to transition um, from the furthest point south possible. Like, um, I actually messed this up, so um, we're gonna... But I needed the time to kind of talk. So, uh, what we're gonna do is you need to get to the bottom of the screen, bomb yourself to the very bottom of the screen without transitioning screens, which is pretty easy. You just put some bombs down. The bombs won't knock you into the next screen. And then turn ourselves around and then transition into the screen. We're going to turn ourselves around by dashing up and then pushing down before the dash completes. And then stopping the dash. So you do need the Pegasus boots. So clearly, I mean, I'm getting hit. I'm taking all the time in the world. This is for the Virtual Console version of the game as well. So there, you bomb yourself to the very bottom of the screen. As you can see, that won't change screens on you. There you go. 
and then we transition. And now we've just got to get to the palace secret entrance. If you've done that right, it should drop you into the secret room. Which is also the inside of Link's house. And you can see, I'm doing everything wrong here. I got this on my second try. This was not hard. So there we go. It's a room filled with blue rupees. And it has this message. My name is Chris Houlihan. This is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay? Uh, so when we come back, we're going to do glitching through the walls in Zelda and fun things that you can, well, and things you can do with that. Um, or some things I did with it. There's probably numerous um, cool things you can do. Uh, but we're going to beat the game in like five minutes. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, I will see you. And if you, when you leave this room, you come out at Link's house. So there you go. Bunch of money. Secret room. Bye, everybody.